We're back with you, KTNT Radio and TV Broadcasting Podcasting. Jesse T with you here, man. We are at the London Hotel. It's going to be a good time right here. I'll, I'll keep as quiet as I can. But we're right here, and we're having a great time today. And, uh, you know, we're in a confined place, so we'll try to keep it down a little bit. But it's just the way it's going to get noisy in here. That's just how it's going to be. But uh, Buzz Aldrin may be here. Also, Armand Asante may be here. So that's why we're here to uh, maybe catch a few words with them. This is a terrific movie. And the name of the movie is called The Man Who Unlocked the Universe. So it's going to be a movie, a science fiction movie, about a man who has a brilliant mind. And he was able to look at things in a different kind of way, kind of out of the box, and was able to uh, come up with some really great scientific theories uh, to, to, to answer a lot of questions that we have right here. Now, you can kind of see the red carpet line is starting right here as we start uh, filling up here in this small room, kind of an in tight environment. So I've got, uh, I'm using the uh, little uh, uh, mouth microphone right here, the little mic, the lapel mic here, rather than have my big mic out with me, and, uh, and we're having a good time. So, uh, uh, right there in the background is Francisco Olivia. Leave, uh, Olivia. Uh, he's going to be uh, coming down the red carpet here in a second. It's me, Jesse T, and the Brown Beauty is back on duty on KTN TV, radio and broadcasting, podcasting live. And uh, it's good to have you out here. We're covering another red carpet like we do. We've got a couple of them this week that we're going to be covering, and it's going to be a great time. If you saw the Jesse T show, we talked about space, and we talked about a lot of cool stuff. Uh, and uh, that's what we're going to be talking about now here and also this terrific movie. And we're going to find out a little bit about what's happening with some of these actors as they start coming on down, down the line here and uh, we start uh, getting to the end. You know me, I always like to be at the end saying hi to Will Lopez who just checked us out and has us in. Uh, and uh, I always like to be at the end because I get the chance to spend the most time with him. Yeah, and we're having fun, buddy. Good to have you with us. And uh, we are live right here on the Jesse T Show as we're doing Instagram Live, Periscope Live Stream, Twitter, Tumblr, Blogger, Skype, Messenger, uh, Facebook.com forward slash Jesse Terrero, and the Power of Voices dot com. And on Instagram Live at Jesse Terrero, also YouTube. Uh, uh, the Jesse Terrell channel. So it's good to have you here. Uh, as we uh, start the festivities of the Red Carpet, you can hear the noise starting to pick up a little bit here. So that's kind of cool. Uh, and uh, some people were trying to shush me down, but you know, hey, it's me, Jesse T. What can I do? I got to be me. Can't be anybody else. And uh, bring it to you live right here at basically San Vicente and Sunset Boulevard, right here in West Los Angeles, uh, rest just down the street from Hollywood and just down the street. So the stars are starting to arrive right now for the next half hour. Uh, as, uh, as they enter in the studio behind me, the theater is behind me, I get the last ticket with them. So that's kind of cool. I'm going to be like the, the traffic clogger here in a second. I'll be clogging up the traffic scene uh, here in a little bit. But uh, the people are starting to uh, participate in the film. Red carpets always are the same. Some are more organized than others. Some are free-for-alls. This is sort of a, more of an organized type red carpet. And, uh, you know, it's not kind of a free-for-all. You've seen some of these free-for-alls. It's kind of cool. Hey, uh, Will Lopez says, I have, an, I have a, another premiere, and I want to invite you to let you uh, know later. Hey, just give me some leeway time. Because, you know, we, uh, we get around and we're pretty busy on the Jesse T Show. So, Will, we'd love to help you out, participate with you there, have you down at the station at thepowervoices.com and the Jesse T Show on live Monday through Friday here from 5 to 6 every single day of the week and the best of on Saturday and Sunday. As the millions and millions of listeners and viewers and the, the noise is starting to pick up a little bit, so we'll start picking up a little bit. We'll start talking a little bit louder. And uh, we've got one more shot to go. She's going to get a real quick little interview here. And, uh, and uh, then we'll be next. It'll be a lot of fun as we broadcast live right here on the red carpet here in Hollywood. Armin Asante is checking in here. It's good to have him with us. Boy, he's looking great. There he is. Nice to see him. Haven't seen him in a long time, man. He's looking really terrific. Got that long hair. Uh, let me kind of give you an idea. There's Armin on Sonic. I'm going to switch the camera around a little bit here and uh, adjust, the, adjust the camera. You can see there's Armin. Armin's right there. We're going to be, uh, Armin's going to be coming up here in just a second. And uh, we have, uh, we have uh, this young man here. He's being interviewed by somebody else already. The photographers are always down on one end. That's how these uh, red couples go. Saying hi 
to uh, Daryl Gibson, uh, uh, Worshipful Master Gibson. Uh, hopefully, we have a chance to talk with Buzz Aldrin. Uh, he's a keynote speaker here, and we're looking forward uh, to that. Absolutely, here on the Jesse T Show. Sure, get the opportunity to ask Buzz some questions. So we're going to switch it around here and make the cut this way. Man, Armin and Santa, just loving so many of his pictures here. And the stars are starting to line up, and the red carpet is starting to go here. So uh, it's a terrific time here on Sunset and Vincent San Francisco Boulevard in the West OA on the Jesse T Show. So you kind of get a flavor of what's happening here. And we're going to talk to uh, Franci uh, Francisco uh, Olivia here in just a second and uh, kind of have some fun with him. We'll switch it around a little bit and, uh, and it gives him here uh, uh, in uh, kind of looking the other way. Uh, saying hi to Brian Wallenberg and uh, Will Lopez still with us as we're starting to check in here at facebook.com forward slash Jesse Terrell. As uh, you start to do that, I appreciate you joining. Also uh, sharing and liking and passing the word about the show, the Jesse T Show from 5 to 6. We are here at the London Hotel. Very, very five-star, exquisite hotel. And there's a theater here uh, right behind us. So they're going to be debuting uh, this movie, The Man Who Unlocked the Universe. So uh, let's uh, kind of kind of give you a little uh, look-see as to what's happening. And, uh, and uh, in that respect, yeah. Back with you here live on the Jesse T Show. At uh, KTNT Radio and TV Broadcasting Podcasting, we're doing our thing out here. Uh, Dan and Man's feeling a little bit under the weather, so I'm I'm hoofing it by myself. But that's cool. It's good to have you along with us, you and me together again on the air and everywhere from the community to the world. As we're sitting nice and tight and ready to, to uh, dish it out back and forth with some of the stars coming down for a movie called The Man Who Unlocked the Universe. It's a scientific kind of drama. There's a lot of docudrama here about a man who had these great theories and he, he unlocked a lot of key questions in the universe. So we're going to find out a little bit more about that here in just a second. Saying hi to Lucy Gutierrez and to give, your, uh, to give them your autograph. <laughs> well, you know, I do my thing here. If anyone wants my autograph, I'll be happy to give it out. That's for sure. I see Arnold Asante. I've, I've known him for a little while, so that would be kind of cool to see him again. And there's Buzz Aldrin right over there. Uh, Buzz is right there. You kind of see that. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? Hey, beautiful lady. Mwah. You guys got to come back in. Come on. Come on back in. Absolutely. Hey, man, how are you doing? Come on in here. We're going to, we're, hey, look at this. All right. Buddy, hey, hey this is Jesse T. And this is, this is Francisco, man. He was in the movie. And uh, just cool, man. Hey, you got your greases oiled here. They're coming down the red carpet. And so I get you, and you're red hot and rolling, baby. That's what you are. You're live on the Jesse T. Show on 20 different social network sites right now. Facebook, YouTube, live stream, Periscope. It's going back to our station near Sony and bouncing it out right now. So say hi to all your fans. Hi, how are you? I'm Francisco Valle. And... Hope you guys like the movie when you see it. It's going to be a terrific movie. Tell me a little bit about it real fast. Well, Ulubeck was an astronomer who uh, was a nephew of the biggest emperor from Central Asia. Mm -hmm. uh, that was in the Tamilan Empire. The biggest emperor was Timur, and I play the young version of Ulubeg. Uh, who is the nephew? Yep. And Armando Sante play the older version of the. And he came up with a lot of things. He was so far ahead of his time because we're going back in history here, mm -hmm. and so he was so far ahead of his time. It, 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 he almost has to beg the question: Were we ever contacted by other beings in our galaxy? Because these guys were happening all around the world, but they were all talking about the same thing: these ancient astronomers and scientists and antiquity. And so that must have been a lot of fun to do the research on this. Yes, it was. I don't know about the aliens, but that we don't know. But we know that, what I know is that he was uh, an innovator. He was a man who was uh, focused on um, uh, 
um, learning, education, building uh, a university to teach people. And it was about all the the stars and learning about the universe constantly. And Beautiful his, man. His publishings were actually used by the biggest yeah. astronomers, Galileo Galilei well, and others. Well, it's always a building block. Yeah. It's always a building block for for these type of theories to happen. Yeah. Lucy Gutierrez says hi. She's uh, you're her favorite actor. She says, hi, "Give me his autograph." <laughs> I said, "Oh man, I don't got nothing to write on here. What are you hi, talking Lucy, about?" You? But Lucy says hello as we go live. Isn't this cool? I love the technology. Well, you I do guys, things a little bit different. Can follow me on Instagram Cisco Ovalle, C I S C O O V A L L E. Same for Facebook, same for uh, Twitter. We're on the we're on the air every day of the TV and radio talk show. I broadcast live every day from five to Excellent. six here in Los Angeles. Come out, do my show with me, so Excellent. we can have an extensive conversation. Thank you you so got a card or something? Yes, sure. Let's do something together, and maybe Lucy can yes. talk to you on Skype. Lucy, you're coming in. <laughs> Absolutely, man. All right, good. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you very much. Okay. So, so we got Buzz Aldrin and Armin Asante coming on down right here as uh, as we continue on here. Buzz and Armin are uh, going to be headed this way in just a second. We kind of see that the red carpet is getting even more and more crowded as it happens. Some people have brought it in just a little bit here, but that's the way it is always. And some people are slipping by here. They don't want, they don't want to have necessarily have a chance to talk. They uh, kind of want to see the movie that they were in. Good to have you on, Izzy Camillo. Uh, good to have you on. Jim Thomas, a martial art expert. Uh, thanks, Jim. We're going to get a few words with Buzz here in, uh, in, in just a second. In fact, I'm going to squeeze in here right now, right behind, right behind this gentleman here, so you can kind of get a, a look see on the uh, on, on the poster here, the man who unlocked the universe. So we're going back in historical significance here, in historical time, which is really cool in that respect. So uh, as we uh, roll on down the red carpet here, and more and more folks are coming down the road, a little bit of traffic congestion happening. We're at the London at San Vicente, 1027 San Vicente. San Vicente and Sunset. So it's uh, it's it's an interesting, different little red carpet. We're in a confined area, and uh, you can see it's getting a little bit noisier as time goes on, uh, and. Uh, it's uh, starting to get a little crowded too. It's going to be a quick red carpet. It's not going to take that long. Uh, the main players are coming down the road right now and having a lot of discussion here, a lot of talk. Hey, there he is 